Shot, bitch. Back on these reactions, man. Got Niners and the Cardinals. This was a requested video right here. I was going to pretty much let this one ride because, you know what I'm saying, Cardinals really ain't about shit. But, I obviously, I already know the 49ers won this shit. I just, you know what I'm saying, tap in with the... I pretty much, they pretty much at, my, at this rate, man. Y'all know yesterday was the Eagles versus Seahawks. At this rate, man, uh, it's pretty much a wrap. It's between the Cardinals. I mean, shit. Between the Niners, uh, Cowboys, and Detroit for me, Eagles ain't relevant at this point, bro. Pretty much, really what I'm saying is pretty much because of the turnover margin. I pretty much then went through the stats of the last Super Bowl champions to have a negative uh, turnover ratio. And the last person to win the uh, Super Bowl in a negative ratio was the Kansas City Chiefs last year. You know what I'm saying? I think they had a negative three. Every Super Bowl champion from since 2014, because that's as far as NFL uh, on the NFL website, they let you go. Or well, on ESPN NFL website, as far as they let you go. Every other Super Bowl champion had a positive uh, plus positive ratio as far as turnover margin. They created more turnover than they did turn the ball over. So, Eagles, my Eagles are like negative five, negative six, some shit like that. So, obviously, they're not in the thick of things. So, I have to... By that margin alone, I had to disqualify them. I don't give a damn. I don't. I'm not with the, all that positive shit. All this. Uh, well, if you fix this and fix that, I don't. Uh. -uh. Well, history. I'm going out by what history is say. History say that we ain't winning shit. So I have to tap in with these other teams that's doing what they supposed to do. Cause the Niners look like the best well oiled machine right now in football. Uh, as far as the offense and defensively, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna see how things go. They taking care of business. It's going to be a good game between. It's probably going to be a Super Bowl preview with the Ravens and the Niners and shit like that there. So we're going to see how that game turns out. You know what I'm saying? I think those teams going to collect data before they meet. I don't know. I'm really not sure about if the Ravens will get down. Seeing some of Lamar playoff performances of the past. I had to sit here and think about that. Seeing some of Lamar playoff performances in the past. I'm not sure if Ravens are going to automatically get there. But 49ers are by far the best team in the NFC, so I'm pretty sure they're going to get there and, and shit like that. I hate saying those words and shit, but my team is no match for these niggas at this point, man. After I seen that debacle I seen last night against the Seahawks, bro. But anyway, man, we can, can watch some good football because my team ain't doing that shit. So. <laughs> Check it out, man. Floater handled by McBride. What a season he's put together of the season. That is a new Cardinals tight end record. Protection holds up. Murray hangs in there. Deep shot, Murray. It's got McBride. I don't even know who the, the Cardinals line. have as far as weapons anymore. I feel like they kind of low-key tanking. They didn't cut my guy, Zach Ertz. They let D-Hop go. I'm assuming they still got Hollywood Brown. I haven't seen the Jonathan Gannon first year as a head coach. is starting horribly at 3-10. and 10. Well, 3-11 and because they lost this game and shit like that too, but I don't even know who they have at weapons right now, bro. Like, it's tough out here. Chance. If you're a Cardinals fan. Who is they running back? James Conner still? He's got room. He's going to run. Murray. Off the hesitation. He's out of bounds. And you know Kyler Murray don't care. Call of Duty is out right now. Long count for Murray. It's a running play to Connor. Cuts through okay. for the touchdown. It struck first. It struck all first. No, it went downhill pretty much after this, though. This is a division game, so you know sometimes it can get a little close. But I don't think I don't. I can't remember the exact score. I don't think this game was close, though. All pro middle linebacker Fred Warner. Two nice blocks by Froholt. Seventy. That's really helped them implement their program. Third down and one. First down, McCaffrey. Stays on his feet. I will say, man, the addition of McCaff uh, McCaffrey really changed what the 49ers really do on offense. Because I, who was the running back last year? Like Mo Moser? I can't even remember who the running back was last year. But that addition, that trade for McCaffrey was a win. I forgot who they beat out. I think it was the Rams that they beat out for their trade. That was a W trade for the Niners because it really changed the shit over there in Niners lane. I can't lie. Back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons for him. Deep drop. Purdy will rifle downfield. It's complete snag by Samuel. He was moving in the wrong his, direction. His career was just over there dying with the Panthers, bro, without, you know what I'm saying, Cam and shit over there. He was finna beat. McCaffrey, zigzag move, down the sideline, McCaffrey, chunks of yards. They were just pretty much wasting his career over there. 
This team takes great pride in blocking. All of them together, all of them on the field, all of them firing together. McCaffrey gets a Wide open. Oh, my God. Keep in mind, uh, John Vigana is a defensive coach. The fact that you, you can think of a better scheme than this right here, the, this nigga is just this open. Mason is in. That's that's horrible, bro. There's nobody within. If I had to take a guess, that's probably around eight to nine yards of Debo. That's tough. Purdy to Samuel, walk in touchdown, San Francisco. They just make it look so easy. That was easy money. So good that you know you're not supposed to lose sight of Debo Samuel. He's in your scouting report as one of the most dangerous guys you're going to play against. Instead. Because the scheme is so good, the design and execute felt that way against Pittsburgh last year. He missed a lot of practice time with a wrist issue and COVID. He actually feels better mentally this year. Trying to deliver it, popped up in the air. What the fuck? By McBride, off the <laughs> that shit was so lucky. Flag is down. Let's see if one of these. That, the fact that he caught it had this game had us upset potential in it. Cause that's it. Kind of it gave that kind of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Without seeing the game, these are just highlights and shit that. It could be the Cardinals' day, but obviously we know the result would happen. When some you catch some lucky shit like that, it kind of be like that's the other team's day today. <laughs> and I say that shit. And I say that shit. Hell no. Nah. That changed real quickly. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Kyler back at it, man. Six games a season with zero giveaways, tied with San Francisco and others. Michael Carter with a big run to the outside. So the Cardinals had limited turnovers for the most part. Great to be with the Iron Eagle, Charles Davis. 30 to 22 is crazy. 14 7 San Francisco in front. Murray, the toss to McBride, gets around one tackler. Greenlaw. He's got a long. Fred Warner. What the fuck? What the fuck? What was that? Look at this kick. Imagine this would have been a game without being hot. Look at his kick, bro. He's got a long of 62. Bro, that like that's off. What the fuck? Puts the leg into it and knocks it through. That was impressive. 39 years old, Matt Prater is. Oh, that's Matt Prater. Oh, oh well, well that, that, well Matt Prater to do that. I've got that Matt Prater. That nigga that made sit from 70 type shit. After the catch and the Cardinals, <laughs> obviously a nice memory for you. Not and for off, Gus. not for Gus. Oh no, fake the handoff. It's Murray getting to the outside. So cartoon feet ass it's nigga right here. Right now for Arizona, we send it down to Evan. He ain't like he be moving fast, but he be moving fast as hell. It's a running play for a Connor, and he won't get there. Go for it. You no got if you want to beat the four nines, you got to go for this. Yard line, and with ten forty four. If you punt this, you tanking. Throw the okay. interception on fourth down when San Francisco sort its second touch. Barely got this shit. <laughs> middle is Connor. First down. They did a yard, got two, and ran right where they needed to. Look run. at the respect they First have each other. That's crazy. The forty four, the forty nine. The vision rival right there. The running play, Connor. He got lifted off the ground by Ward, but picked up extra yards. Lined up here on the left. Trey McBride back on the field for the Cardinals on a third and ten. Murray fires it underneath. Ball is handled by De Mercado, but he is short. Gillikin will hold it. That Prater back at it. Two for two on the day. With the mental effort for Brucko's product right there, man. With it. McCaffrey was checking that right knee. <laughs> that nigga be playing with fire, bro. I swear to God, he be making some throws, bro. We be throwing across the body and shit. That went across the body and shit. But that right there, that like that was laid in outside, man. Gillikin will hold it. The snap from Brewer. And he knocks it through. With the mental effort for 60 minutes, you got to stay with it. McCaffrey was checking that. What? Oh, that should have been one of them things. He throws on the out route. Perfectly timed. Ayuk for the first down. Ball 
of the fullback here, Juszczyk. Fake the pitch. Purdy steps up. Purdy, flip it. Caught by Juszczyk. Third down and two. I can't believe he got away with that, bro. Purdy steps up. Purdy lofts it. It's caught on the juggle. Nice dime Kittle. right there. 49ers trying to add to their lead. Purdy. Fires over the middle. Touchdown, <laughs> McCaffrey. That boy be orchestrating, though. I can't lie. <laughs> that nigga be orchestrating, though. I knew I wasn't going to be the biggest. I would watch his footwork, his savviness, and Purdy is the embodiment of that right now. And be, that boy, they be orchestrating, though. I can't lie. <laughs> I must been. Uh, I don't know. Whenever I'm, I'm gonna do, probably do it this Saturday. I must be pulling up on that. Uh, I don't know somebody sent gave me a recommendation. Like, I, I need to pull up on that Purdy and Jalen Hurts back in the college video. It's going to be one I think it was a high yards throwing game, man. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that shit. Remember, San Francisco won the toss, deferred to the second half, so they're gonna open up the second half with the ball. They might get it back here. On the give, De Mercado picks up five, and a timeout called with 103. Third and long for the 49ers. First possession of the second half. McCaffrey in motion. Purdy Reed gets rid of it. Kittle first down. Kittle still going. Brought down. Buddha Baker. It's not that he thinks the guys have gotten better. He just thinks there have been better opportunities led by Purdy. Curls out of trouble. Downfield. Wide open. McCaffrey gets Hell no. Up to run with Hell him. no. Hell fucking no. Uh. 41 yards. But I ain't gonna lie, man. It's very amazing that Purdy was the third string, bro. It's like it was a blessing in disguise that them two quarterbacks got hurt. The, fact, the way he's orchestrating right now is like a perfect type shit. I don't know. I wonder if like what would have happened, like, like if Trey Lance, I'm saying, would have panned out. Like, what they would have did with Purdy, like, what would his future would have been? Somebody got to make a, a hypothetical scenario with what Purdy could have been, type, where he where he would have been. Say Trey Lance would have worked out. Y'all know y'all traded up for him and shit. Where would, what would have happened, bro? But watch how like, this he is crazy. exits out on this one because of the pressure. That was nice. I like that play right here. Gets turned loose right there is Roy Lopez. Feels it. Exits left. McCaffrey escapes everyone and has the presence of mind to through the years now in his third year in the nfl out of oregon a fifth round pick second down and eight murray step delivers downfield why well, like he throwed it so hard but the ball went only so far knows that he left yards out there like he gave it all he had the ball barely made it where it needed to go hand off to connor big hole connor Ooh. rips through it Ooh. and a huge Ooh. gain for connor Ooh. watch the bet brought down from behind inside the 20. okay Dime package, Murray throws it high, snap. <laughs> I had a screen, I heard. So I guess McBride, they gave McBride the the keys to the the team and shit like that because they cut Zach Ertz and shit. Well, he asked for a release. Murray, ooh, ooh, stop and go. Ooh. What you gonna do with it? Murray zips it to the end zone, extending incomplete. Michael Wilson, the intended receiver. Raiders already made a couple of them. This is a 28-yard chip shot, and he nails it. So second and ten for San Francisco. Play made by Thomas. Purdy. Perfectly placed. Caught by Ayuk. Zigzags. Yeah, killing in the air. Dances man. his way inside the 40. You get what you coach. Well, they coach it really hard, and you see the results. McCaffrey, the patience. Gets the gaping hole and turns it into a first down. He saw both of Mayuk and Debo Samuel Evan making those blocks. McCaffrey bounces to the outside and he's forced out of bounds inside the five. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey knifes in. Why, why, why we can't be blessed with an offensive coordinator like you know, this? But we get like Kyle Shanahan. It ain't gotta be Kyle Shanahan. If Kyle Shanahan has a ten, I just give me an offensive coordinator that's a seven. If he's a ten, give me one that's a seven. I, I'm just th I'm just tired of Brian Jones. Everything just looks so orchestrated, all perfectly, and all this bullshit. We over here struggling to muster up one drive. That's not the first. You know, it was like the first eight to twelve plays that scripted for most NFL teams and shit. We struggling to must up a drive after that. I just want a, a solid offensive coordinator that ain't getting his schemes 
off of sticking. Man, come on. I'm not gonna go in on that. Let's stick to the task. I'm through with the Eagle. <laughs> Bro, these niggas pissing me fuck off. The left side. God damn, man. And there's Aaron Banks Put my also body in there, 65 with a shit. pancake block to finish. You want effort? Watch it in the middle. Watch Banks 65. And watch the finish. Kyler Murray is 13 of 20, 133 yards and a pick. Fires it to the outside, makes a man miss. Connor. For Hopefully, I'll just be here because I can't. I think this shit fucking up. Ocean on my head, Dorch. <laughs> Shotgun Murray. Underneath Dorch Ooh, makes the cut. Bit. He's elusive, but could not get to the line to gain. In Arizona. Well, it was. 35 to 16 is crazy. Give it to De Mercado. Shit. I'm talking about 35 to 16. I've got we got ass. Don't! 42-19. Good job at the point of attack by the offensive line, but there's a missed tackle there by Warner in the hole and no one there to help him. Normally, the first guy's there and there's two or three others after him to help. But when Warner missed, there wasn't anyone else there wearing a red jersey. And Deep Mercado goes the distance for a touchdown for Arizona. Quarterback draws always in play when it's an empty set for Arizona. And they don't call that. They don't call that. We don't want to run this shit. Down by 13. And that pass picked off in the end zone by Gibson. Eagles playing Monday night. Monday night for the chance to be in. Yeah, questions in regards to Hurts. Don't remind me. But the Eagles would clinch a playoff berth with the San Francisco win. Hole here for McCaffrey. <laughs> They're the team I don't want to deal with if they get in, if I'm in the AFC. We're used to them coming at you with 12, 13 wins. Maybe less, but if they get in, I don't want to deal with Buffalo. McCaffrey goes over 100 yards rushing on the day. That one's good for 12 uh, yards. I don't got them. Delivered more often than not. 1,000, 1,000 guy in 2019. That's a lateral. Debo Samuel. He gets pushed from behind. That's good enough for a first down. San Francisco is up. But I will say this you know, after this play. Let's see. Give Who was that? Putting in a bag of some shit? That's the first carry I've seen somebody other than McCaffrey get in a long time. Every play on this drive has been a run until this throw. Oh my God, bro. He just throw it back Samuel. shoulder, bro. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brock Purdy. Perfect. And I and it had to be that type of a pass because the coverage by Antonio Hamilton. Bro, he ain't even got no bag on the outside really for real. And tight. If you Come throw on, the man. ball traditionally where the receiver has to battle the DB for it, Antonio Hamilton has to play at the football. But because it was back shoulder away from him and you let Samuel adjust as he is wont to do, it turns out to be this. The accuracy of Brock Purdy in play. Once I ain't again, a lot of throws on the money, though. Is sometimes break routes, find open space. And I'll find but Brock Purdy is going to win the MVP. Murray intercepted. Second one. Ward again, man. Ward. Brock Purdy is going to win the MVP as and a seventh round the last field. pick in the draft, bro. Fred That's Warner crazy. Say, Sam Darnold is in Purdy right now. In as a How many fucking breaks that Br uh, Purdy had in the fourth quarter? I know he had one against us. He had one against the Cowboys. Now you got this game. I'm pretty sure there's another game that Fortnite will probably blow somebody out where he got to take a break. Good lord, man. They nine is just running through niggas and shit. An early pass to use check. Who believed in him? Kyle Shanahan and OTA. The reason we can't in my quarterback single side like we getting blown out in back to back weeks and shit. These niggas doing doing the work. Killing the motherfuckers, man. Good lord. The 25 yard line 20 up 20 in the fourth, bro. Shit is sick of the three yard gain. And they added more points. 45, bro. Tough. He's got it. Really good for McBride. Ertz now trying to figure out what the next chapter is going to be. To see it. Murray. First down. <laughs> oh, shit. And then some. They've got to get more talent. Let's see what Kyle got on his last down. drive, bro. Murray is on time to Higgins for the first down. Tackle down to the 35 yard line. That's a gain of 15. 55 here in regulation. Shotgun Murray. Toss it. Juggle and catch made by Carter. Brings a fiery attitude. 
third and goal. Murray. Thrown off his back. Dive! Okay, Collins. Look like top 10 Collins in the big end. So Kyler Murray. And he had a hell of a year in the second year. Everybody didn't kind of wrote him off after that, that country shit. Yeah, he had it. He playing at a high level in his second year. Some window dressing here for Arizona. He bought extra time. And Higgins doesn't give up. He sees it. He needs to make a secondary move and create an opening for his quarterback. This shit wraps, man. I don't need to see more now, of that. As mentioned. Hey, man, the favorites to win. To, I think that I, I got to look at the Vegas odds, shit, but the favorites, in my opinion, odds on odds, favorite to win the Super Bowl at this point, looking still looking hot, looking good. Do what they post to like. They got it. Like, compared to my team, like, they got a fucking identity, man. Uh, they doing. They playing good defense. You know what I'm saying. They orchestrating on all cylinders on offense. Debo getting the ball. McCaffrey getting his carries. Brandon Ayuk. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I think he's pretty much leading them in yards and shit like that. Kittle, like he didn't re rebuild, revitalize. You know what I'm saying him being one of the top three tight ends in the game and shit. Hate to say all that shit, man, but you gotta respect what these Niners are doing, bro. They 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 by far uh, leaps and bounds above anybody in the NFC right now. So. Hey, man, it's like a, a crash collision course between Niners and somebody in the AFC. I would say Ravens, but we're going to see how they look on uh, when they play this next Monday or Tuesday something, or this Sunday, something like that. I ain't like how the Ravens performed against Jacksonville last week, so that's kind of why I'm kind of, you know I'm saying? That shit was kind of iffy. Jacksonville, like, they, they kind of, Jacksonville is kind of fraudulent to me. They haven't beat nobody pretty much with a winning record. This year, I don't think so. All the good teams they lost to Mahomes, uh, lost to the Ravens. I think they lost to uh, did they lose to the Bengals? I think they lost to the Bengals. I know the 49ers blowing them out. That's another game Purdy got to sit out, man. So it's just too much. Uh, uh Jackson was kind of fraudulent. So we'll see. We're going to watch that game and see. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to react to that game or I'm just going to do the uh, recap on it. But y'all can let me know what y'all think on it. But as of right now, man, Fortnite is running away with this shit, man. It's your boy, shot, bitch. Check out the day, baby. Y'all leave comments, man. Let's get it.